Behance Portfolio Tutorial for Beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started step by step with creating your portfolio in Behance. So if you're trying to showcase your creative work, find jobs, or even hire freelancers, you can do it all within Behance. Now, what exactly is Behance and how can you build your portfolio on this platform? Well, a lot of people underestimate Behance as just a platform for you know, looking up art, but Behance is so much more than that. Especially if you are a creative, then you know the power that Behance does hold. So to get started with building your own portfolio within Behance, you are just going to head on over into Behance.net and then click on a start free trial on the top right. Now you can get Behance Pro, you don't need Behance Pro, you can just proceed with a regular old Behance and you can just click on sign in on the top right and once you click on sign in, you can choose to sign up via your email address or your Google account, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, Line, Kakao Talk. I think this is Kakao Talk. So we're just going to be signing on to our account over here via Google. And that is it. So that is how simple and easy it is to sign up. Now, from here, you guys can see we have the Behance Pro, but we don't need that. And this is what our portfolio looks like. So this is what your basic profile looks like. Now, to get started, you have a profile checklist on the right, and this is what you want to add. You want to add a profile photo. So first off, we're going to click on add profile photo, and I have a bunch of different images that I can choose from. Ideally, I just want this to be pretty. So I'm just going to go with this image over here and then crop and save. Once I do that, we want to claim our profile URL. So you can customize this and I'm just going to be adding Jane Doe. Jane Doe already exists, so Jane.do. Okay, I can only use letters, numbers, dashes, or underscores. Jane underscore Doe underscore. Yeah, so I'm going to click on save and I have now customized my URL on Behance. Once I've done this, I can move towards editing my availability. So I'm available for a freelance project then I am available for a full-time job. Now I am looking for remote opportunities and then my prices are between five to a hundred dollars. And then you can add the categories of services you offer. So you guys can see a bunch of different categories are already predefined. You can check out the categories you offer. So let's say logo design, fonts, branding services, packaging designs, icon design, so on and so forth. You can specify what you are offering and then just click on done. Now, after that, you're going to add when you are available. So I'm available now. Then after that, you can connect your payment processors. So you can connect Stripe or PayPal to start getting payments. You can connect with PayPal or Stripe to start receiving your payments. I'm just going to skip that. And we're going to create our first project. So creating project allows you to show and display your work. And your project can be image, text, photo grids, audio, embedded, Lightrooms, prototype, and 3D. So starting off, you can start with adding your content. Let's say it's this one here. And we're just going to open this up. And once you do that, your image will be added. Now, a project does not need to just be a basic little slideshow of all of the things you've created. You can truly use your creative freedom within your project. You can truly customize everything. You can click on text. You can enter some text and so on and so forth. And then after you've done that, you can also attach assets like fonts, illustrations, photos, zips, templates as for your paid download. And then you can proceed with continuing. Then you're going to give your project a title. Let's say this is going to be called Kiki. You can add tags, so person, portrait, photography, photo shoot, whatever you want. Then after you do that, you're going to specify what tools you have used for this particular design. So this is fashion, advertising, and photography. Then this is available for everyone. Then after that, you're going to just click on publish. And that is how you can get started with creating your Behance portfolio. So this is our first project. Now a portfolio needs to be detailed. A portfolio truly does contain a lot of content. So just add all of your work. And a lot of artists, they do feel a bit shy when it comes to some of their original drafts or original creations. So if you are one of those people, then I'm telling you guys, you need to just have a really nice portfolio. If you don't have a lot of projects already, if you've worked on any passion project, you can add that. You can see your work, then any of your services, Adobe Stock, mood boards, appreciations, your stats, and drafts. So this is really important. You guys can see that whenever you are building your portfolio, people want to know you. People are buying the artist. People want to have 
interest people want to see whether or not you know you would be able to deliver the aesthetic the mood whatever they are trying to build so this includes ensuring that your project is you know nicely made and it has all the basic elements and whenever people are looking for those basic elements initially they are going to just look at your profile this includes your Adobe stock, mood boards, and appreciations because that can give you a lot of insight into, you know, understanding and knowing what type of content does this particular artist have. Now, whenever you're building your portfolio, another really important thing that I recommend is to go on to other artists. Find artists you like or artists that are similar to you and view their portfolio. This is really important because whenever you view other people's portfolio, you will see their work, their mood boards, and their appreciations. This is going to give you an idea of how you can curate a certain aesthetic or image. And this is something that I do recommend, that is to curate something very specific. You don't want to have one cartoon animation, one photography element, one packaging element, one branding element, one font style. You want to be creating content that is very similar. Sure, you can diversify, but it needs to represent a certain kind of style which is distinguishable and people can say, hey, that's the person that created that. So you will notice this as a trend across a lot of these, you know, artists. If I click on this artist, and obviously for certain commissioned art artists, people do prefer if they have, you know, a diversified style, but a lot of times people are looking for a very unique aesthetic or something that's distinguishable. So that is why it's important. You guys can see this person has appreciations and then mood boards and their mood boards are different based upon the era they were in. So even if you want to diversify, you can do it in this way where it still provides the viewers a sense of your art style where it still has, you know, authenticness to it. You guys can see, again, we have this particular artist, this is their work, and then if we go into their mood boards, they have several different styles of mood boards, but when you take a look at their work, the primary work that is being displayed, it's all in one particular style, which is very distinguishable, very interesting, and this is just what makes everything really important. So even though this person has this, uh, you know, they have the capability to build this, they are still building that type of style as well, which is really important to sell, to be able to be marketable. So that is how you can get started with Behance and anyone can get started. You don't need Behance Pro for any of, you know, the basics. And I do think that you can go very far with just the basics on Behance. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and if you are looking to upgrade to the Pro, the Pro does allow you to have a little bit more reach. It does grow your earnings and gives you access to exclusive freelance jobs. So if you are looking at Behance as a place to find a job and you are, you know, focused on that it's not just something you are doing as a passion project then I would say that you should maybe consider opting for the pro version but it's not necessary and you can still do pretty amazing things on Behance. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you guys did find this video helpful then make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.